Hey guys, got a uh, little bit of a project to do today. A few people have been asking about energy consumption on the 12 volt Furion fridge. You have to excuse the mess around the RV. We have been doing a lot of staining on cabinet doors and drawers, changing up the inside. But this is what I ordered from Amazon. So let's open it up, see what we got. All right, so this little device once you hook it up to a 12 volt source and the load is supposed to tell you how many amp hours, watt hours, voltage, all that that you use. Let's hook it up. Okay, so we got the fridge opened up. Take this little cover plate off. Make sure the power is off. Positive, negative. And the power is off, so I'm going to hook this little thing up and we'll be right back. That's a negative. If that piece would stay like that, it'd be perfect, but you know, it's not going to. We'll try that. All right, I've already put the fuse back in. Now I'm gonna go inside and turn it on. You guys can tell me if it works. Cause you're gonna see it before me. Okay, and it is lit up. So, time will tell. Let's see how much power it uses. Okay, the fridge was only off for about five minutes, but it is running. You can see it bouncing right around five amps or so. Uh, Seems to show everything pretty well so far. I like the watt hour. Voltage. All looks pretty good. So it is noon. Uh, we'll probably check on it in 12 hours and then check on it in 24. And we'll have our answer on how much it actually uses. The refrigerator is cycled off right now. It is 518. And this is where we stand at so far. Now this thing did read that at a maximum it did pull just over 8 amps at one point, right there. Alright, let me interrupt the video for a minute and explain something to you. This uh, little device that I bought, for whatever reason it decides to reset every 11, 18, 20 hours. I was never able to get a 24 hour reading. So what I'm doing is editing in the two 12 hours that I was able to get on it. This is 12 hours. All right, so these are the numbers for the final 12 hour. It is now night, so these are the daytime hours. Let's talk about the numbers a little bit. Um, the first 12 hour we used 35.1, the second 12 hour we used 36.7 amp hours on both for a total of 71.8 amp hours, so we'll just say 72. So, 72 amp hours in a 24 hour period, what does that mean? We have three Renogy gel batteries that are 12 volt, 100 amp hour, but you can only use 50% of that with that type battery. So each battery is 50 amp hours. So you're using a battery and a half. So that's not, you know, that's not a little bit, that's quite a bit of energy. But you have to remember, this is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator that runs on 12 volt. It's huge compared to what we had, and uh, so far we've been thrilled with this thing. On another note, if anyone's using a actual residential refrigerator that's made for a house and using an inverter and, you know, all that stuff to do it and has a way to figure out the power, I'd love to hear how much, you know, a residential fridge, which is probably 15 or larger cubic foot, uses for power. Send it uh, to me in the comments. We've had this refrigerator almost six months, and don't judge me on my food, I'll show you the inside. As you can see, there is a lot of room in this refrigerator. 
much more than what you'd get out of uh, the little propane jobs. Now, in six months, we've built up a little bit of frost in the freezer, but you can see it's deeper than a regular propane fridge. Current temperature settings. Now, their little knob right here has an economy mode, which is that little dark spot. We ran it on economy and found that it doesn't keep ice cream really cold, but run just above it, it does. So it's on one of its lower power settings, and you can see it stays right around 40 degrees. So we're good with that. I mean, in the mornings it's probably 38, and in the evenings it's probably 40. Going back a little bit, uh, if you remember, I told you it had a magnetic front on it, which I thought was really cool, and it has worked out great. Nothing's fallen off going down the road. As for the install, this refrigerator is the same width as the one that we had, but it is taller. Now, up in here, we had a uh, false panel right across there, which I was able to take out and the refrigerator fit in. I didn't even have to trim it out or anything. It just fit. I hope this video has helped somebody out there in figuring out whether they want to put this refrigerator in. For us, it's, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I wish I had done it a little bit sooner. We'll see you next time.